Hello everyone, this is me, Ryan. Some of you know me as John Dole. Of course, right here in um, Japan. Now, recently the trial against the anti-nuclear protesters that occupy Tokyo and their tents has started. The uh, hearing took place recently in the first round of it. And the government, of course, made the claim that we all knew they were going to make, because they made that clear to the occupiers, that um, it's Ill they are illegally squatting on state-owned land, which is a ridiculous concept, and that um, the tents are obstructing the sidewalk with preventing pedestrians from moving around and it's also um, interfering with motorists. Now anyone who's been down there, I've been down there many many times, that's a ridiculous claim. All right? The tents do not block pedestrians at all. The, uh, it's a corner street there, there's two crosswalks there and the tents are way back in the corner of it, right up against uh, the Meti building. So it doesn't block pedestrians at all. You can freely move past there. It's never overcrowded. Unless, of course, there's protests going down and then it gets crowded. Uh, now, the other claim about motorists, that's also ridiculous. The tents do not get in the way of the road. All right? <laughs> there's no tents in the road. So if the tents are not actually on the road, they're not obstructing motorists. And it's really clear when you go down there that it's not obstructing pedestrians. So that's not going to fly. Now the argument that they are um, illegally squatting on state-owned land, that is just stupid. When you think about it, if the government, in theory, is in the service of the people, and the land that the government owns, well, by that theory, would belong to the people. So, if the people are using that land for a democratic expression, well then, it wouldn't be illegal squatting. Squatting denotes that they have set up a permanent living space. Not true. They've set up a, several tents to express themselves and to express national rage on the issue of nuclear power and to start up a conversation. They're not living there. They camp out there. It's an occupation, a people's occupation. The, I guess the government doesn't understand what that is. They, or they, if they do, they want to deny it, what the actual intention is here. It's not to set up a place for people to live. It's to set up an expression of democratic rights and an expression of national rage and to get a conversation started. Until nuc the nuclear power issue is resolved, when the tent must be there. It doesn't make any sense. So it's clear that the Japanese government simply wants to shut this down. And they're not willing to go to a level of violence yet to shut it down. They're trying to go through the courts. So we'll see how all this eventually works out. As you and I can clearly see, JGov, you're just trying to shut people up.